Hey, good evening YouTube. Oleg here with another boot review tonight. And tonight we're going to talk about Red Wing uh, style 3340, which is the blacksmith in briar slick leather. So a little bit about um, Red Wing brand. It was started in 1905 by Charles Beckman in Red Wing, Minnesota. Uh, it is uh, one of the most well-known brands of uh, American-made footwear. Um, they have various lines, uh, both work and uh, heritage. So this particular boot is part of their heritage collection. Just a quick disclaimer before I get into the proverbial meat and potatoes of this video, this boot is not uh, rated as a work boot. It does not have a steel toe. Um, it is not um, sturdy enough to handle being out in the lumber yard. It is definitely a very good looking, uh, solid, you know, solid quality, uh, uh, casual boot, lifestyle boot. Um, and, it, and again, it is part of uh, Red Wing's um, heritage collection, which is, uh, it, it's an homage to the past and the way um, things were done uh, you know, the, the footwear that was used for work back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean um, early 20th century. So this particular boot uh, is made on Red Wing's number eight last, uh, same last that's used to manufacture uh, the Iron Rangers, um, the Rover, and also the Merchant. So just an FYI, whatever um, size you wear in any of the other models, if you happen to own any of those, you would also be wearing the same exact size in the blacksmith boot. Um, this boot does have a lot of similarity to the Iron Rangers. The um, cap toe here is plain. Um, it does have a similar bulbous um, form as the, um, as the Iron Ranger. The big difference between the Iron Ranger and the blacksmith is um, the fact that this does not have a, a, um, a toe cap and it does not have a, a reinforced heel. Um, it does still have the triple stitched uh, Puritan stitching on the back and um, all throughout the, the vamp. Uh, it is leather lined. Um, it is very, very, um, very soft boot when, when you get it worn in. The break in on this guy, I would say is probably on par with that of an Iron Ranger maybe a little bit less so because again, it does not have the extra pieces of leather in certain places, but overall it is, um, it's not the softest boot to get into from the start, but once you give it a few days to a few weeks, depending on how frequently you wear it, it does soften up and it does um, actually mold to your foot very comfortably. So, um, you know, this boot does have the uh, brass hardware. It's got uh, four sets of eyelets and then it's got the three sets of speed hooks up here. Uh, a lot of people have conflicted opinions on the um, speed hooks versus the eyelets. Some people prefer them this way. This is just the standard way that these particular boots come from the factory. Uh, but some people do like to have the eyelets going all the way up. And if that's the case, um, guess what? Uh, Red Wing does offer that option. And all you have to do is um, take them you know, to your nearest uh, Red Wing store and have them sent back to Minnesota. Uh, usually takes about um, you know a couple of weeks, two to three weeks of turnaround time, and they can um, in fact replace these speed hooks with actual eyelets for you if if you prefer to have laces going all the way up. Uh, you would require longer laces, so these are just stock laces that these boots came with. But again, that's a minor thing. That's something that um, you know you can get very easily, especially since Red Wing does offer uh, lifetime lace, uh, free laces for any boots that are purchased through them. You literally go into a Red Wing store. Uh, if you happen to have a copy of your receipt, great. If not, just uh, let them know, hey, I, I own a pair of such and such boots. I bought them, you know, approximate time and date when you bought them and um, all the stores in the nation will honor the um, lifetime laces. Uh, they literally will just cut up uh, a new set of laces and give them to you at no charge. So that's enough about that. Let's talk a little bit about the soles on these guys. So these do feature the uh, Vibram Mini Lug soles. Um, 
So this boot is uh, one thing that's definitely worth mentioning. Um, it is Goodyear welted. It's got the 270 degree Goodyear welt. It does not go all the way around the heel of the boot. It stops right here, but it is, um, it still is a great uh, way to uh, make the boots resolvable and uh, also water, water re resistant. Um, they're not waterproof, they are water resistant, so I would not you know, recommend taking these and submerging them in the water. But you know, if you're just generally walking around town, you happen to step in the puddles, um, you know, or if you're out in the woods and you, know, you, you know, use these for light hikes or something, and you happen to step in the puddle or on, um, on wet surface, um, your, 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 so your uh, socks and your feet inside the boots will stay uh, dry. Um, again, as long as it's not for extended periods of time. Uh, again, with the, with the resolvable um, mini lug soles, a lot of people like them. Um, up until a little while ago, I want to say three, four years ago, um, these boots actually came with um, cork, um, cork soles. Um, and, and those were um, aesthetically attractive and appealing to a lot of people, but there were a lot of complaints about um, people sliding around and falling down in them. And so as of 2017, I believe, um, or maybe it was 2018, I apologize for not knowing the exact date, but it was right around that time, uh, Red Wing actually replaced the soles on their, uh, um, the Blacksmiths and the Iron Rangers, and they went with uh, Mini Lug, the Vibram Mini Lug across the board. Um, these boots, uh, you know, let's talk a little bit about pricing. So these boots do cost roughly, um, when I bought them uh, a couple months ago, they were $299, which I believe is a standard price. Um, it's just your regular MSRP that uh, these can be found on um, Red Wings website or any of the stores. Now, depending on what store you, you go to, they may um, vary um, in, in availability. Some stores, um, uh, you know, some Red Wing stores throughout the nation, depending on again where you live and, and, and what type of demographic is um, present in a particular area. Um, some stores are geared more towards the industrial side of things, meaning they carry more of your uh, regular run of the mill work boots that are going to be, um, you know, um, rated for um, heavy labor. And, you know, they'll have some soft toes, they'll have some um, steel toes and composite toe and so on and so forth, and maybe not so much on the heritage line. Um, usually, the a pretty good rule of thumb, the closer you get to a metropolitan area, meaning, um, like for example, with me, I live in Florida. Um, so if you know you're in the near Orlando area or if you're down near Boca Raton, uh, Delray Beach area, those stores will typically have... Uh, a pretty decent selection of the heritage line um, versus something that's more in like a rural um, uh, Ohio or like Nebraska area where you know it's more industrial and uh, therefore they'll they'll potentially have fewer of the heritage boots to select from. But with that in mind, you know uh, one thing I should mention is that if you are set on a particular pair of heritage boots, you know you can definitely go online and check them out. Uh, Red Wing site is updated very frequently to show um, their most up-to-date collection um, and, and the color and leather selections available in each particular style. And uh, irregardless of the location, of the, the physical brick and mortar location of Red Wing store uh, that you might be closest to, uh, those um, guys and gals should be able to order uh, just about anything that's currently available from Red Wing. Um, might take a few days to get in, but you know that that's something to keep in mind. Just because it, it might not be available in the store for immediate purchase, uh, does not preclude you from, you know, becoming a proud owner of of uh, Red Wing Heritage uh, boots if you so choose. Um, let's talk about sizing. I'll I'll go back to um, that topic. I I feel like it's a very important subject to touch on. Um, you know, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I, I did do a review of the Iron Rangers. Um, I will say, you know, that um, these do fit very, very um, um, comfortably, and they are made on the same last, as I mentioned in the in the early part of this video. Um, so, just for reference, I am a regular 
10D on the Brannock device. Um, I actually had to go down a full size and a half in all of my Red Wing 8 last boots. So I own a few pairs of the Iron Rangers and I also own these and they are all, I'm, I'm eight and a half in all of my um, eight last boots from uh, Red Wing. So it's, it's kind of crazy. It's a little, um, oh, got a visitor here. Come here. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's my cat. Um, but yeah, so, so as I was saying, these uh, run very, very big. Um, you know, I did have to go down a full size and a half to, to get optimal um, fit for my feet. Um, Red Wing does recommend sizing a half size down from what you normally wear in sneakers and casual shoes and dress shoes. Um, the best thing, in my opinion, to do is um, anytime you're getting into a good quality um, Goodyear welted footwear, such as these or any other brand for that matter that, that you know, um, sells genuine leather, um, Goodyear welted um, boots, the best thing you can do, if at all possible, is find a store, go to the store, talk to a live person, um, discuss, you know, any particular issues you might have going on with your feet, you know, any custom orthotics, any sort of, uh, you know, arch issues you might be having, um, you know, and, and, and those guys and gals at, at all the stores um, at Red Wing, they are certified fit specialists. It is their job. It's part of their core responsibilities to be able to um, navigate through sizing questions, um, listen and answer any questions you may have about your particular uh, feet and how your other pairs of footwear fit. Um, and, um, you know, they have um, digital um, foot measuring scales. They also have standard, you know, typical Brannock devices. You can get measured every which way and then try on various um, sizes. Again, if the particular style that you're looking for and a color and a size is maybe not available, um, chances are there's gonna be other models made on the similar last that you'd be able to try on and um, get a really, really solid idea as to what size you will need in a particular style that you're interested in. So that's my advice. Um, Obviously, you know, sometimes you're, you're buying things on, online, you know, if you're buying things on Amazon or if you're ordering uh, from um, eBay. Um, I personally purchased a few pairs of shoes from eBay. And, uh, well, hello, cat. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Sorry about that. He just really wants to be in the video tonight. Um, but, yeah, sometimes when you buy shoes online, you kind of have to just um, take the leap. Or, or not, depending on your comfort level. But again, there's, there's in, in my opinion, there's never quite something like the, the heart-wrenching dis you know, disappointment feeling when you buy a, a, a pair of shoes, they come, and you're really excited, you're really pumped to you know, get them, to try them on, and you, your foot goes in them, and you just realize, oh crap, you know, they're either too big or too small, or um, you know, then you run into the return issues, and, and sometimes if you buy from private sellers, it may be kind of a tough tough subject to broach. But So again, my advice is go to the store, try these on, um, see how how they fit, and um, you know make your decision based off of that. I think for what you're getting here, you know, you're getting excellent boot, you know, made with premium leather. Um, this color, I hope the lighting in my um, living room is good enough to um, transcend the actual beauty of this particular boot. It, it is gorgeous. Um, this um, Briar Slick oil leather is um, probably the most popular and the most sought after um, color of leather for this particular style boot. That's the one that, you know, if you look up um, Red Wing blacksmith boot, usually this is like the top in their search criteria, and they have other colors. They, I believe they currently have the uh, rough and tough leather. Um, I believe they have some of the black, um, ebony, and um, some other colors. I, I, I Don't quote me um, you know, verbatim. I, I'm not quite sure. I haven't been on their site in, in a couple of days, so not quite sure what they have on there. But uh, this is a fact that this is perhaps their most, most um, popular boot for or this most popular color for this particular boot. It looks extremely good, um, you know, uh, dressed down with a pair of um, 
salvage denim. Um, you can get away with wearing these with chinos. Uh, some people will say that because, you know, depending on what kind of hardware you have, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you have the, the speed hooks here, um, that could potentially preclude you from wearing something that's too dressy, uh, just because, you know, your pant might not um, fit too well over the top here. Um, but again, I, I haven't had that um, issue. I've, I've actually worn these out to nice dinners. Um, I've also worn these out to breweries. Um, you know, just casual hangouts with some of my friends. And, and, you know, usually when I wear these out in public, I, I do get a lot of compliments. I mean, these are just very, very, very sharp boots. Um, they're extremely well made. Um, you know, just, just like the Iron Rangers and just about any other pair of Heritage boots from Red Wing, these, there's no reason why with proper care and, um, you know, um, you know, not being crazy, not being stupid with them, obviously, just regular wear and tear and proper care, you, you, I mean, there's no, no reason why you can't get upwards of, you know, 12 or even more years of use out of these, you know. These boots are... Not the cheapest, they're definitely not the most expensive uh, boots in this particular category out there. And they, they can be, I mean, it, it really is an investment, you know. So, you know, sometimes it's, if you're on the fence and you're contemplating spending, you know, $300 on a pair of these, um, just keep in mind that, you know, you are not buying a cheaply made, um, glued on or cemented on or even Blake stitched. I mean, nothing against Blake Stitch because I, I actually own a lot of Blake, Blake Stitch um, shoes and they're quite quite good. But you are getting something that can be resold many, many times. And it is truly um, a, a great handsome boot to own if you are a boot enthusiast like myself and you're looking to add something to the collection. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, the aesthetics of the soles. I, I mentioned before that some people prefer cork. Um, the, you know, if that is what you desire uh, for this particular um, shoe, for this particular boot, no problem. Um, you can send these back to Red Wing and get them resold. That service costs, I believe, $100 at this point in time. It takes a couple of weeks, but they can, you know, they can put virtually any kind of sole on these um, that's currently available and, and for a list of available options you can go on their website and um, um, just you know take a gander see what what's out there so with that in mind um, you know as always I welcome your comments and suggestions um, you know I'm trying to do as many of these reviews with the hope that um, they're helpful and um, you know, they, they uh, go a long way in helping people out there to make up their mind about, uh, red, you know, buying Red Wing boots. Um, quick note, uh, if you are in the Melbourne, Florida area, uh, store 134 in Palm Bay um, is the store that I go to to get all my, um, my boots, my Red Wing boots, my um, boot care products. Um, you know, and any questions that I have pertaining to boots of other brands, I can take them to, uh, my friend Rennie, uh, who is the store manager there. Rennie, if you're watching this, you know, thumbs up to you. Um, been awesome to work with over the last, um, few months. And, um, you know, if you mention my name, uh, if you mention, uh, you saw a video by Oleg, uh, Rennie can, uh, throw in a little something extra for you if you are deciding to buy a pair of boots from him. So that's it. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns, suggestions. I'm always looking to improve the video um, and the content um, quality uh, that I post. Um, again, this was a review of Red Wing Blacksmiths in style 3340. Thank you very much, and we'll be in touch very soon.